Welcome back. Last time I cut the veneered ply risers, finished shaping the nosing, and started work on the subfloor. Hi, since last time I've been making up some frames to fit between the top and bottom panels that you saw me cut in the previous videos. I could have made this framework up first and then applied the panels and cut them to the right curve at the front. Uh, but I decided uh, I'd do the panels first uh, and then do the frames. And that seems to have worked quite well so far. So I've prepared a, a member for the back, full one for the side and some ribs. And I'm just finishing up now by putting the curved section on the front. The way I do that is to take a, a square piece of timber, place it on the curve so it overlaps, mark the curve onto the underside of the timber, take it to the band saw and cut that out. And then what would appear to be waste, I then stick on the back side to thicken up the section. This is the biggest curve I've had to make and that's for the centre section. So I had a straight piece in here, mark the curve, cut it off and I've got some rather large sections glued on the back there and we've got a nice curve. Next thing I'm going to do is to drill some pilot holes to hold the curves on, temporarily fix them with some undersized screws, put the lid on, drill and screw that down, then I'll flush up all the curves, then once I'm happy with all the sections I'll uh, one by one disassemble them and then reassemble with construction adhesive and full size screws. So I've cut angles at each end so it slides in parallel and meets nicely on the curve and now I just mark it in this case with a pen leaving the line allows me to flush it with the top and bottom panels and attaching the cut off to the rear beefs it up again To keep weight down, I'm cutting some holes in the bottom and then rounding over to ease handling. So after a little hand planing, uh, the curve's lovely, uh, all the panels are nice and square, match up nicely. This is one of those occasions where I, in the past I promised myself to buy a compass plane whenever I want to do a, a curved surface. Uh, but it's just happened to fall over the Christmas New Year break so I haven't been able to get to the shops to buy one. So I've had to do it all with uh, my number four but actually it worked out quite well. Now clearly this is all going to get covered over eventually and I have my Zipedia base ply already. It's been, uh, I've had it resting just on a little stick to begin to get a little bit of bend in it which will just help a little bit and I'll just go on there and we'll pull it round the nosing that I prepared before has uh, obviously a groove in it for the ply it sits on this little shelf at the front leaving enough depth at the back for the finished material and the groove lines up then with the curve that I've planed on the front of these sections and the ply, oh, this is something, different piece of ply but the same thickness. The ply goes into the curved groove on the nosing and follows the curve that I've planed on the bases and all goes together and produces I think quite a nice finish. Join me again very soon for more on this build. Cheerio! take a moment to like, comment and subscribe and follow me on social media for extra photos and videos from the workshop. Cheerio!